There was um there was one night at the emergency clinic when this woman came in and she had her little dog wrapped up in a little gray blanket. I'll never forget it. And she looked at me and she asked, um, she said, can you not ha take him off my lap? Can you just leave him on my lap? And we knew that we had to euthanize. So I, I, of course, that's not what I was taught to do. We were taught to take them into the back in the treatment area and place an IV catheter, then bring them back into the room. Um, but I, I remember looking at her and just thinking, why not? Why not? I would want the same thing if I was her. So I just kind of looked through, you know, my, my formulary and I, I came up with a drug protocol that we could do in the room. And, um, and I was able to provide that euthanasia to that little pet in his mom's lap. And she walked out of the clinic the exact same way she walked in. And um, I was probably about a month and a half out of school at that point, knowing that this concept of an in-home end-of-life care was was the way I wanted to go. And I came up with the name Lap of Love, you know, having no idea that it was going to kind of turn into something a little bit bigger.